Welcome to the Warrior Camp September 8, 2009, two-year anniversary edition, part two. Um, instead of me just telling you everything about uh, the Warrior Camp that happened at uh, a Grand View, I was thinking about that. I could do that. I would love to, and I gave you a snapshot of it uh, in the in part one of this update. But um, I was thinking, how cool would it be to get some feedback from from uh, some of the leaders that were there from the church and eventually from some of the kids that went to Warrior Camp and for me to just share that with you guys. So that's what we're going to do. So here is, uh, this is uh, this is actually from Al. Al is a Sunday school teacher of the, the kids that came to Warrior Camp. And uh, Al got a survey after Warrior Camp was over. And uh, he gave me permission to share this with you guys. So this is from Al's perspective. Again, he's a Sunday school boys teacher. He was at Warrior Camp helping us out with games and discipleship. And uh, this is this is what Al had to say straight from Al's mouth uh, in Grandview, Washington. Here we go. Uh, question number one, Al, which three games do you think the kids enjoyed the most? Uh, if you can, rank them in order, please. All right, Al said this. Capture the flag, the slip and slide tug of war, the one on one version, which was uh, in our Warriors tournament, and then also the pillow joust. Uh, actually, he says jousting with the pillows on horseback. Uh, so he really liked those games. Question number two Al, which games do you think could be made better or replaced with a better game? This is what Al said How about a timed obstacle course, such as crawling through tubes, crawl under a couple of rope trellises? Ooh, I like it. Crawl on stomachs for a distance, etc. Awesome. That we're gonna put that in the idea vault. I love that. Thanks for that. Seriously, I love that, Al. Awesome. Uh, number three, Al. Can you think of any games which might be fun to incorporate into Warrior Camp? Feel free to describe them. Al said, "How about a scavenger hunt for the armor of God, such as finding the sword, belt of truth, helmet, breastplate, sandals, etc." Cool. I like that. Uh, number four. If you have any other thoughts on the games, go ahead and put those here. Al said this, I think the simple and basic low-cost games you had set up was terrific in that it created a team effort by all Warriors. Cool. All right, question number five. Al, what do you think about the Warrior Camp pace, intensity, and schedule? Was it too much, too little, or just about right? Feel free to elaborate because we went all day long. And it, was, it was pretty hardcore. Al said this, the intensity was awesome. I think it needs to be cut down to eight hours instead of a 12-hour day. Appreciate that feedback. Uh, number six, without shortchanging the fact that God can and does work invisibly in the heart, which rally or rallies do you think were most spiritually impacting for the kids? Al said, the last one where the warriors were knighted as warriors. How about the warriors signing a homemade sword and give the church for a memorabilia? Cool. He also said, how about using the words, I knight thee as a warrior of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I like that. Good feedback. Cool. Uh, next, we asked Al, um, we said, uh, again, without denying God's vital work in the heart, was there a Warrior Camp rally that you think might have been more spiritually impacting uh, for the kids? And Al said this, I think uh, I think impact the boys with the thought of how they can achieve strength, honor, and courage with asking Jesus to be the sole king in their lives. Nice. We asked Al, if you have any other thoughts on the discipleship rallies, go ahead and put those here too. Al said, continue to use the Bible as the basis for being a warrior along with old-time warriors such as David and Joshua. We also asked Al, as a leader and helper, what do you think are some of the best things about Warrior Camp? Al said, the simple organized games and the dart blowguns were awesome. Al, as a leader and helper, what do you think are some of, the, some of the things about Warrior Camp that can get better? Al said this, shorter day with two major rallies, one in the morning and one at the end. I really think the small groups were a great impact to the boys. Nice. We asked Al, all things considered, what do you think about the cost of Warrior Camp? Too high, too low, just about right. Feel free to elaborate. Just right on the money. God, God will always provide for the ones who need help in the cost. True. We asked Al, did you get any feedback from kids or parents? If so, feel free to tell the story here. Al said, the kids were talking about the Warrior Camp for days up to the camp, and then they, and then they are still talking about the camp. My hat goes off to you guys for such a unique and simplistic time of fun and togetherness. Thanks for the encouragement, Al. Thanks a lot for all your help and helping us out there as well and for the feedback. We really appreciate the feedback. Seriously. Uh, we also asked Al if there's anything special you would like to have included in the next Warrior Camp update, including anything from the Grandview Warrior Camp Blitz. Go ahead and put it here. 
Al said this, I believe each warrior got the message they got, the truth, straight from the Word of God, and it will become a stabilizing force in their lives. That, that's a bullseye. I love that. And I think this is last but not least. Oh, we got a couple more here. Uh, did Warrior Camp help accomplish the ministry goals you have for your kids? How? Feel free to put any other relevant thoughts here as well. Al said, yes, it made them stronger as a team and as a group willing to help each other stay strong as warriors for God. And finally, at the end of this novel, uh, we asked Al, do you think it would be a good idea for Warrior Camp to develop a discipleship series with which kids, workers, or youth pastors could follow up Warrior Camp? Al said, yes, with so much pressure in today's world, at schools, gangs, drugs, alcohol, divorce in the families, the boys need and the boys need a idea or place they can come together and build each other up for God. Also to belong to something pure and awesome. So, Al, thanks a lot for taking the time to do that. I know that uh, that was a long survey, but uh, definitely we appreciate your feedback and, and the encouragement. And uh, thanks again for coming out to Warrior Camp and, and helping us out with games and discipleship. You guys were awesome. And it was nice meeting you and, uh, and Ben and some of the, uh, the people there at your church. Um, so that's Al's survey. And Sarah is actually the kids' pastor. And, um, and she's the one that invited us to Warrior Camp. And Sarah also uh, filled out a survey for us just to give us some, some uh, constructive criticism maybe or some, some uh, encouraging feedback. Either way, we love it all. So uh, this is Sarah's survey. This is what Sarah said. Uh, Derek, I still have kids' surveys coming in. We'll send them together soon. Uh, and then we asked Sarah this question. Which three games do you think the kids enjoyed the most? Uh, if you can, rank them in order. She said Capture the Flag, the Fish Egg Game, Dunk the Maniac, she also said the take-home weapons were a huge hit. We asked Sarah, what do you think about the Warrior Camp pace, intensity, and schedule? Was it too much? Was it too little? Or was it just about right? Feel free to elaborate. She said, just about right. Maybe a bit intense, but I wouldn't back off too much. Uh, nice. Number six, uh, we asked Sarah, without shortchanging the fact that God can and does work invisibly in the heart, which rally or rallies do you think were the most spiritually impacting for the kids? Uh, she said, I didn't, sit in on, I didn't sit in on the rallies, but I thought the nighting ceremony was significant. Uh, maybe build this up. Very cool. Um, another question, uh, and I'm, I'm bouncing around here, uh, so these aren't in numerical order. But uh, the next question is, as a leader helper, what do you think are some of the best things about Warrior Camp? Uh, she said, relationships made and strengthened, uh, spiritual challenges, relevant and fun games, sincere attitude and concern of the Warrior Camp leaders. Thanks for uh, thanks for that encouragement there. Um, we love you guys, and it was, uh, like I said before, we just, I think we fell in love with your kids there. It was like, you know, 12 hours, but we we really bonded with those guys, and uh, you, got, you got some awesome kids there in your church, so tell them we say hi, and we're praying for them. And, uh, yeah, so this was the next question that we asked Sarah here. Uh, did you get any feedback from the kids or parents? If so, feel free to tell the stories here. Uh, Sarah said, parents were very pleased and anxious for next year. Uh, we asked, is there anything the Warrior Camp team could have done to make it easier for Grandview Kids workers to host Warrior Camp? Feel free to elaborate. Sarah said, wow, no, you were fabulous and so organized. You made it, you made it easy to host you. Uh, next, we asked Sarah, did Warrior Camp help accomplish the ministry goals you have for your kids? How? Feel free to put any other relevant thoughts here as well. Uh, Sarah said, yes, great spiritual rally topics, male bonding, raising up young men. Nice. Next, we asked Sarah, do you think it would be a good idea for Warrior Camp to develop a discipleship series with which kids, workers, or youth pastors could follow up Warrior Camp? She said, definitely, with a smiley face. So don't forget the smiley face. And uh, so, yeah, those are some of the... Um, those are some of the, the questions from the survey, and not all the questions were necessarily answered, but we definitely appreciate the uh, the feedback from from uh, from you guys, from Sarah and Al. And if you have any other surveys that come in, feel free to send those to us. We're always um, anxious to uh, get that feedback. So uh, yeah, this concludes part two of the anniversary edition, the two-year anniversary of the Warrior Camp update. We're coming back at you live from the Pride of the Northwest. In the next part three of the anniversary edition update, Warrior Camp Edition. See you soon.